let's shake things up a little bit today and do something fun. I have a big bowl of tomatoes and we're leaving town in a couple of days. So we're gonna take an old recipe that I've done and rework it a little bit to make this a faster, easier canning recipe. Welcome to Grover Sir. I'm Carter, I'm thrilled you're here with me today. Let's get started. So early in Jessica's Every Bit Counts Challenge, I did for you zesty salsa straight out of the ball canning book. So what I'm gonna do today, because I don't have the time to do all that chopping. I mean, that was a lot, a lot of chopping. It took hours to get that recipe done. Today, I'm gonna do it the speedy way. I was watching Jess over at Roots and Refuge yesterday, I think, and she talked about her roasted salsa recipe. Now hers is not approved for canning, so don't don't go canning that one. She doesn't have the, she does it for fresh eating, so she uses lime juice and it's just to taste. It's not a properly measured pH that she's going for. But I'm gonna take the zesty salsa recipe and instead of all that chopping and peeling tomatoes and all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna cut everything up, throw it in the oven, roast it, and then we're gonna blend it. I'm not even taking the skins off the tomatoes. So because I'm using the blender, it shouldn't be a problem. Skins don't bother me anyway. So if skins bother you, you may not wanna do it this way, or you may wanna peel them when they come out of the oven. That's fine too, they'll peel much easier. It's just really like doing them on the stove in, in a boiling water bath. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm glad you're here with me. We'll go through it because because I've done the same basic recipe for you before, I'm not gonna make you sit through the whole thing again. This is just gonna be really a highlights reel. I hope you'll stick around. I'm gonna make it fast and I'm gonna make it fun and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I have four trays in the oven. So that's the peppers, the onions, the garlic, and the tomato. So two trays down there. Two, hello, there, there I am. Two trays up there. So they are in there at 450 degrees. And I think it's gonna be at least 30 minutes, maybe 45. I'll let you know when I pull them out of the oven. Okay, just breaking in here quickly to share some good news. While my salsa is still in the oven roasting, I got a notice from YouTube that I now have 20 subscribers. So tiny little milestone, but it feels monumental. I've been doing this for about three weeks now, and I wanna thank you so much. And please, if you're not subscribed yet, please take a moment, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll look forward to seeing you again. Okay, I have blended everything. I brought it back up to temperature. I'm gonna bring you over here real quickly to see how this looks. It looks fantastic, it tastes fantastic. And then we're gonna get it into some jars and into the canner. Come take a look at this. We'll see if I can hold you steady. Doesn't that look good? These are those cute little Kerr eight ounce jars that I like so much. They have been in the canner. They're all tasty. We'll get the sauce in. I'm gonna do this to a half inch headspace. This looks so good. This was so easy. I cannot even tell you. It saved me hours from the chopping. I'm gonna get the rest of these jars done. I'll be back, tell you how many I got. Everything's in the canner. I ended up getting three, 15 and a half pints. Obviously, I'm not canning the last half pint. In my original recipe, I had written in my book that I got 17 pints out of that. So this is obviously more condensed because it's been roasted and because it's been blended. But all my numbers, all the input numbers were exactly the same. So I'm excited about this. I have 12 in this canner. I had to quickly convert my small canner back into a small canner instead of the stock pot I was using to heat up the sauce. And that one is going, so I'll be back soon as soon as these are done. Oh, I tasted this stuff earlier and just to see if it needed anything. Whoa, I, I, I put a little more hot sauce in it than I did last time for my husband's sake, so he should be happy. And we're back. The salsa is done. It actually finished a few hours ago, but I had to run out for an appointment. So I wanted to show you that I ended up using these jars 
for what ran over the 12 jars I expected. So I think that these jars are so great. This is the Kerr eight ounce jar. I've only seen them at Walmart. And then this is a regular eight ounce jar. So I have 15 of those. So I wanted to tell you how great this turned out for me, for my time. Uh, personally, it probably took less than half of the prep time because I wasn't cutting all, I think it's 17 cups of vegetables. I wasn't dicing them by hand. That is the most time consuming part of salsa. So, you know, I cut everything in half or quarters, threw it in the oven and then blended it up. And even given the oven time, it took so much less time. It was crazy. There was no peeling the tomatoes. You know, I had no issues. My husband's already had, you know, the leftover little half a jar that I had and he loved it. So I, this may be the way I do it from now on. It, it doesn't have the fresh feel that the other one has. The other one, if the other one is pico, this one's salsa uh, kind of thing. So I think it's great to have both on the shelf. And now thanks to Jess at Three, Home, at Three Rivers Homestead, I have, I did 32 half pints of salsa so far this month, which is just, that's crazy. Now we've given away a couple of my husband's eaten one. So I think I have 29 on the shelf and I, I'm thrilled with that. So thank you so much, Jess, for all the inspiration to get everything I possibly can preserved this month. I, I certainly, I needed the cake in the pants. and <laughs> It really worked. And then the second thing is I wanna thank the other Jess over at Roots and Refuge for reminding me yesterday about her fabulous roasted salsa recipe, uh, which is, is not the canning version, but it reminded me that I could probably do something similar with an actual approved canning version. And it was a dream, it was an absolute dream. I'm sure everyone already knows Jess and Jess, but I will link both of their channels below just in case. You should definitely uh, go visit their channels, they're fantastic. So I wanna thank you again for being with me today. I'm gonna to link some other videos that uh, you might also find interesting. And I'll definitely link the original salsa recipe without all the roasting, but with all the chopping. But you can see a little more details. As I said, this was a very abbreviated, the highlights version of this one because you didn't need to watch me do everything step-by-step step again for the exact same recipe. So I'll link that. I'll link some other th stuff you might find interesting. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. And I thank you so much for being here with me today. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.